Okay, ladies and gentlemen, YouTubers and Facebook friends and family. Um, putting in another long night on the Mustang. I uh, got the aftermarket doors and fenders and hood on. And uh, the deck lid on, of course. And, um, you know, every aftermarket part you put on, you have to you have to mess with a little bit. It's got pretty decent lines. And there's not going to be a lot of body work or anything at all, which is good because the panels are pretty straight. Those doors and everything were wasted. I don't know, can't really get a good shot of it, but yeah, you can see how wavy and how much crap is in those doors. Um, but the, so the aftermarket parts are much better than the factory parts that I took out this car. But uh, they do require work. You know, the, the hood is uh, going to require a total coat and then block back down because it's got you can see it it's not really that good I mean it's not bad but you know you can see little imperfections you see that right there in the light so it is a it's a fiberglass hood you can see right there there's gonna be a little knot right there I gotta take out and just the whole thing is gonna require a you know, whole, it's going to require hitting it with some, um, some 80 grit and then um, probably putting a coat over the whole thing and then blocking it back down again and then going from there. Uh, but, you know, there again, aftermarket parts is kind of expected, so it's no surprise. And the car really looks pretty good for being put together with all aftermarket parts. Um you know, the Dynacorn parts are really, really good. I mean, it gets you it gets you there in the ballpark to make the car really, really nice. So I can't complain about that. And it's all new sheet metal, so there's not going to be any rust in this car. And that is a battle on its own for people who do, do rust repair. Um, so there again, you need to mess with some of the some of the stuff. The fenders, like I said, everything is really, really good. Um, there is some areas where you have to... Uh, work on them like right down in here some of the casting is a little too long there's a hump right there for the the drain for the cal drain so you have to trim the fenders a little bit right there and then right along here you have to trim them back a little bit um, but that's to be expected stuff like that because the uh, when they press them of course there's press there's press lag or press edges that you know ooze out over that you know you, you do have to do some trimming on so not a big deal there um, but like I said, we're there in the ballpark, not going to have to do a lot of body work at all on this car. Just a little bit on, um, you know, the edges where we have to uh, make everything line up a little bit better. And that side, pretty good too, you know. So the biggest part is going to be the hood. That'll be the uh, the most, most work as far as the uh, filler work goes. And like I said, you can see that in the cast or the flashing of the glass. It's not bad. It's just, you know, it's like anything else. You just got to work on it. So tomorrow I will hang the front buckets and get those lined out. Um, get all the sheet metal on the car. Look at where the lines need to be to get everything lined up. And then uh, mark where I have to do edge work, grinding back, filling in, and then uh, after that comes the body work. But uh, the line chair, it's gonna be that hood, and the rest of the parts are awesome. That hood's not bad, I mean, it's it's workable. It's not a bad hood, but I wanted the uh, I wanted the hood scoop cat or, uh, in the hood, I didn't wanna, and the underneath of it is really kinda cool looking. Let me show you this. I dig the underneath of this. Look at that, steel reinforced fiberglass top. You know, so just really cool. It's going to be cool. It's going to be awesome. So, here we go. All right. That's the progress.